Okay, so welcome back, and today it's another StarMade client tutorial with Mushroom Fleet. I'm Tamino Sama, and uh, I'm just wanting to show you around some of the features that we've got in our launcher. So, I'm going to take it from the top. So, from last time, we've got our StarMade folder. If we open that, we have the StarMade starter installer and launcher, and then we have the actual installation folder, StarMade, indicated by a capital S and a capital M inside which you will find the entire game installation now some people have said to me various things so we're going to try and cover those in tutorials um, the first few is just we're going to do some launcher settings today so if you double click on the star made starter the launcher will open up now I would say don't worry about mirror settings or server port at the moment yeah, don't mess with them unless you know what they are or told what to do with them. Uh, memory settings is covered briefly in the last one, but uh, effectively you're going to give half your memory, or just under half your memory, to the game, leaving the other half for the computer to actually run properly. So don't give half to your client and half to your dedicated and then wonder why it's all running strange, because Windows won't have any memory to play with. You've got to leave Windows probably about a thousand megs depending on your OS, something like that. Right, so uh, I've used 4096 as a max and 3072 as the initial and I'd use that where I'm not running a dedicated server off my own machine. I'd use that where I'm connecting to a remote server like a, you know, like a public server. Um, when I'm running a dedicated server it's slightly different. I've taken it from you know, the max is still 4,000, but uh, the initial is slightly lower. Okay, but that's technical. So <laughs> let's just click Start Game and have a look at these launcher options. So you can turn the tutorial off if you know what you're doing. You can change the resolution here. Obviously, you want to match your TV screen. If you've got an HD TV, it'll probably be 1920 by 1080. If it's not that big, then you're probably looking at the size down, which is 1280 by 720 for 720p. Uh, you might have a PC monitor, which would be 1360 by 768 or 66 if you're on a laptop. Basically, the way to find this out is you actually will right-click in the uh, background of your computer here. Obviously, this is for a win. This this particular guide is for Windows. Uh, or this, you know. So screen resolution and as you can see I'm on an LG television which is using 1920 by 1080 so oh and I've extended it but don't worry about that it's only the primary display that you're worried about okay so cancel now I do all my recording in uh, 1024 by uh, sorry 1280 by 720 because I have a laptop which isn't full 1080 so for consistency and to stop me having to scale up and down I'm using the 720 uh, for everything. Um, I actually like to put my um, FOV up a bit, but not by much, um, to 90. Um, I do turn the sound down to about 2, and I usually tweak it again with the slider bar. I don't invert anything, because, yeah. Okay, and then you can log into StarMade if you want with the uplink. You can go to the settings, show advanced, and it will give it even more. So we can turn the bloom on, for example. We can increase the uh, view distance to 50, which is something I like to do. You can put full screen on, that was in the last one. Fixed frame rate can sometimes help if you're having a bit of a choppy, uh, choppy experience. You can increase the segments in memory, because you, know, you might be having problems, so you can try enhancing that. I always put the high-res background on because I think it's cool. Uh, and I think that's pretty much, is that pretty much all the options? Oh no, you can use a frame buffer, but I, to be honest, unless I'm having problems, I, I tend to leave as much of it as, as default as possible. The atmosphere shader, I leave it on normal. The fullback is the old one. None is obviously, there is one. So it's pretty. So a lot of it's self-explanatory, but I try to go over it for you guys. Now, um, now we've looked at that. The next video is going to be dealing with stuff in here because this 
that requires a video of its own. We're going to show you in the next video how to import and export um, the ships from the database for using the catalog manager. Uh, we're going to teach you what Reset Universe does and show you what the Starmote remote tool is. Now you're only going to need to know that if you're an admin so you can just ignore the end of that video if you're not an admin. Uh, the bug report tool will open when you have a crash and it's a good idea to just tap a few notes in there and send them off to schema. Under modding we've got block editor and custom skin. These deserve videos of their own so we won't be covering them today. So that's pretty much it for the advanced settings. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I'd gone over all the options um, and uh, make sure you're aware of what they do. So that's the end of this tutorial and I will see you in the next one where we will be looking at the Ship Catalog Manager. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.